So CF is inherited disease that causes the accumulation of mucus and secretions in various organs in the body. Most typically it affects the lung causing increased mucus, sputum production, and a chronic lung infection. CF does also, typically about 90% of patients have pancreatic insufficiency where they have difficulty digesting um, fats. And people who have that often may have loose, more frequent uh, um, bowel movements and aren't digesting, they typically have malnutrition. So certainly that would be one area that most patients um, need treatment for. Um, some patients with CF um, can also develop liver disease, uh, male infertility is very common, and just about all patients with CF have some chronic sinusitis. Uh, I would say one additional thing is that there are some people with milder mutations who um, don't have the pancreatic insufficiency, and some of these patients can present and be diagnosed um, as adults. The oldest patient we've diagnosed is a 69-year-old uh, woman. In 1980, median survival was about 15, but survival has dramatically increased over the last 50 years. Um, median survival now is approximately 37, 38 years for all patients with CF, and with that, there are some patients who far exceed that. Unfortunately, there are some patients who right. the biggest reason for increase in survival is the um, consolidation of CF care within CF centers around Many the country. Most people with CF are cared for at a CF center that's certified by the uh, Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. These centers have people who are expert in diseases, not only physicians, but also nutritionists, social workers, nursing, respiratory therapists, um, and they also adhere to certain standards of care which have been shown to improve um, survival and quality of life for patients. Right, I mean the team approach to address the um, lung problems, nutritional problems which are very common, um, psychosocial issues, dealing with a uh, chronic disease, access to insurance, issues like that and, and more recently you know issues of uh, especially with patients living longer you know patients who need to um, become educated become employed maintain their employment all while managing their um, underlying disease